Hello and welcome to Tech Gainers. My name is Chandra and I am a technology explorer. In this video, we will see how we can manage users in Keyclo. So these are the following ways by which we can manage users. First one is your self-registration. Second is your manual process where the admin can use uh, add the users via the admin console. Third one is user federation where we can use either Kerberos or LDAP. I will show you how we can do it via LDAP. And the last one is the via the APIs. So we will see how we can automate this process using the APIs provided by Keyclock. Let's see one by one. So this is the first option of uh, managing the users in Keyclock, which is self-registration. So basically we are enabling the end user to register himself on the Keyclock. Okay, let's check how we can do that. So this is our Keyclock login page. You can see sign into your account. But one thing you should notice here, there is no option to register. Okay, so this by default key clock uh, disable these features. Okay, so let's see how we can enable it. We'll log in with our admin user. Okay, so we'll go to uh, realm settings in the login tab. You can see user registration. Okay, so we'll make it on and save it. So let's sign out. Okay. So here now you can see this one. Okay. So we have got the register option. So let's click this. And you can see we have a form to register ourselves. So we'll add a user John. John Doe. John Doe at gmail.com. So we have entered all the information. Let's click on register. Now this, this is obvious, right? Because this is the admin console and John Doe is not a, uh, does not have that access. So that's why we are getting forbidden. So let's sign out and log in with our admin user. Okay. So. Uh, we are back to our console and let's check the users okay so we have created a user called john so we can see john is the username and this is the email id which we have registered so this is the one way of adding a user or managing a user so this is the next option where from the admin console the admin can add the user okay let's see how we can do this so we are in the key clock and in the user section so this is the manage users and you can see there is a button for adding a user so you can see you can click on add user we can add a user here john doe one and then we give the same email here john one okay so um, these are several options which the admin can uh, uh, use where he can enable the user or disable the user and if the admin knows that this email is verified he can click on email verified or else the user need to verify the email okay so i am saying email verified right now i am not adding uh, this user into any of the group we'll discuss about groups in the next uh, video okay so uh, other than this we have required user action where um, on the first login the user need to configure the otp or he need to update the password he need to update the profile all verify email so in my one of my videos i have covered this option verifying email so i've used one utility uh, called as a mail hog basically if you are gmail has some restrictions now okay so gmail doesn't allow this weak applications so that's why i used mailhog and you can use it for your development purpose okay so these are several required user actions which you can apply but for this video we'll just save it here okay so now you can see john doe one is created and these are the values which we are given 
now next is the attributes where you can provide some key value pairs and next is the credentials so as you can see we have not set the password okay so the admin can set the default password over here and it is made temporary okay so that the user can change the password okay otherwise what we can do we can make it as a permanent password also so we can set the password and now when we go to the users so we can see we have the next user as well so this is the second way how you can manage the user by using the manual process of admin adding all the users okay so let's see the third option so this is the third option which is called user federation where key clock provides support of kerberos as well as ldap so we'll see how ldap can be used let's see so again we are back to our key clock application and there is an option called user federation over here in the configure section okay so you can see if you click on this add provider you can check there is two options kerberos or ldap so ldap i have already added so i can click on ldap2 this is the one which i have created and you can see there are several options which you need to fill your ldap information actually configuration which is required uh, you can see uh, username ldap attribute rdn ldap attribute user object classes then connection url so this is the one basically you need to uh, uh, prepond with ldap colon slash slash and your ldap uh, server okay so we can click on uh, test connection and you can see success ldap connection successful now you need to provide the user's dn then bind type is there search scope one level or subtree is there right then bind dn and the bind credentials so i have given the bind credentials and you can test authentication as well okay so this is the way you add the ldap server to your key clock okay so and there are other settings as well okay cache settings sync settings so once you do this we can click on synchronize all users you can see 24 updated users three users failed because of some issues and we can check in the server logs okay so we can remove also we can synchronize the change users so suppose over the time your users are new users are added so you can synchronize it okay and there is a sync setting as well so you can sync periodic full sync or periodic change user sync all those options you can apply over here okay so uh, i can show you that one so if you go to users and click on view all users okay so it will take some time because these one guest one guest uh, 11 guest 2 guest 3 guest zameer and all those things uh, uh, users so that are coming from my ldap okay so you can see uh, email uh, the last name so because this is a open source uh, ldap uh, which is available for development purpose only just for testing purposes i've used this and if you want you can see in the video description where you will see all the information or the blog where uh, the information is giving what is the ldap url then user id password and all those stuff i can provide that in the description section okay so this was the third one so this section we'll see how we can automate via apis now moving on to the final one which is the via the rest apis so key clock provide rest apis to support the processes which can be automated for example uh, if you get a excel file which is having the details of users now you would need to import that excel into uh, excel data that is user information into key clock so via apis you can do this by making uh, the rest api calls okay we'll see uh, just from the postman i will show you how you can make that rest api call let's see so first step in uh, accessing the key clock api is to get the access token okay so we'll use this password grant to get the access token so as you can see the grant type is password and user id password i have given okay so we get the access token over here okay 
so now next is the add user key clock uh, api so you can see the realm name is master so we are adding a user in the master realm so if you are adding a user to some other realm for example abc xyz whatever realm name is you need to put that realm name over here there is a mismatch in the documentation provided by keyclock if you see the product rest apis documentation of keyclock they have mentioned that this this is not required okay uh, directly what they are saying localhost 8080 slash master slash users okay so this thing you need to note i will provide the documentation in the description of the video or you can check the video later on as well here i need to provide the token because i need to pass it as a bear token over here now let's check the body of this request it is a post request so here i need to provide the username which i am going to create for example i am creating a user called chandra.sharma03 first name last name whether the user is enabled email is verified and the email okay so other values are also there you can check the documentation of the rest apis i can provide the link let's click on send now the status 201 created that means the request is fulfilled and the user is added to verify let's go to the key clock uh, page okay so i can directly search for chandra dot sharma 03 sorry yeah we can see this is the user chandra dot sharma 03 and we can check so this is the information which i have given so by this way we can write a java program or python code script or some other programming language we can make use of product rest apis which provides uh, keyclock provides okay via this we can automate this process so with this we come to the end of this video where we to summarize i've shown you how to manage the users in keyclock using the four ways and i have explained all the four ways so if you have any questions Put it in the comment and I will try to come back. Thanks a lot for watching this video. So guys, please subscribe the channel if you have not done so far. And also please like the video and share this video with your friends.